everybody! So I have this look for you guys today. It is this hair look. Um, I actually posted a picture on Instagram. If you want to see that picture on Instagram, I'll link it below. And it's just, I got, I just posted it because one day my hair was just oily <laughs> and I just didn't know what to do with it and I just wanted to get it up but I didn't want to just throw in a ponytail because I wear that in my hair like every single day, just like a messy bun, you know, kind of thing. Um, so I decided to try out a French braid fishtail. Whenever I do hairstyles like this, I always try to learn them myself. I don't like to go to other videos and um, teach myself from other videos. I like to figure things out on my own so that way it's more genuine or more and more um, original, I guess. I hope you guys like it. I got a ton of requests to do this look, which I didn't even expect. So here it is. The longest part is the fishtail French braid kind of thing. I don't even know if that's what you are supposed to call it. If you want to make it look really intricate, then um, you're going to want to make sure you take tiny little pieces for the fishtail part. But, I mean, it's not hard. It just takes a long time. And the rest of it is pretty easy. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I did this tutorial, then please keep watching. So first thing, you're going to part your hair on the side, very messy, doesn't matter. Then I'm going to grab a piece of hair and split it into two sections. And now what I'm going to do is pull a piece of hair that's sitting next to the two sections and pulling it across the first section and adding it to the second section. So basically the two first pieces that we split into two are not moving, they're staying stationary, they're not crossing over each other or anything. They're basically used as anchors to anchor the braid down and to hold it in one place. So we're just gonna continue to do that. Continue to hold it in two sections. Take one piece from the side of the braid and flip it over to the second piece like that. And then we're gonna continue to do that on this side. Pull a piece, flip it over and add it to the other piece. And continue to do that all the way down. So right now I'm, I'm starting to part it on the side because I don't want the braid all on one side of my head. I want it to be kind of just in the front. It can be messy because you're not really going to see it. Pulling it over and basically doing that all the way down. So like I said, don't cross the two pieces that you're adding to. Don't move them. Just keep them stationary and just keep adding hair across. And it's kind of like a, a French braid. So, but you're instead of a adding hair and then pulling it over, you're just pulling the hair right over. So once you get to this point, you're just going to start doing a normal fishtail braid. And if you don't know how to do a fishtail braid, I have a tutorial on it. I'll link that below. But basically what you do is you pull a piece of hair from one of the sections and pull it over. Basically kind of like we were doing with the French braid fishtail French braid that we were just doing, but you're pulling it from the actual pieces. So you want to pull it from the far end and take small pieces so they really get defined. So one end, cross it over, the other end, cross it over, and continue to do that. So once you're done, you're going to take an elastic and you're going to put it at the end of the hair. And you're going to want to keep the elastic about three or four inches from the bottom of the hair because you're going to need that space later. But you want to keep it nice and tight so that way it's easier to stay in. So now what you're going to do is you're going to back home or I back home my hair because my hair is very fine and, and limp and this is like second day hair so it doesn't stay well. So I like to have some more volume. I'm just going to back comb it. And I'm going to back comb the sides as well just to give it some grip and some volume. Then I'm going to hairspray it. This just to, to keep the volume in the hair and just keep it kind of messy looking. Pumping it up and brushing through it with my finger so it's not so, so messy. Then I'm going to leave a couple pieces in front of my ears just to continue with that messier look and grabbing all the hair except for the braid and twisting it in a really loose twist bun at the back of my head and I'm forcing it up so I get that volume at the top then you're just gonna bobby pin it in and it usually takes about three or four bobby pins for my hair to stay because it's really fine um, you want to make sure that the the back is really loose and messy you want it to kind of have hair sticking out so at this point I pull out the elastic from the bottom about an inch or so and loosen up the fishtail braid because I don't want it to look so tight um, 
because it makes your hair look thinner so I'm trying to give some more volume to my hair and the way to do that is just kind of pull it out loosen it up and I didn't make it loose at the beginning because it's it stays better this way and um, it just I think it looks better so just continue to do that keep pulling the elastic out if it's not thick enough keep pulling it and pulling it until you can that's why we leave the space at the end so it's kind of messy now so I'm gonna take it and pull it to the back of my head take a bobby pin and just pin it right at the back of my head there so it's really simple to put that in and if your bun is messy again just take another bobby pin and bobby pin that in and that's how it looks at the back. I like how it's like messy and things are kind of sticking out like that. So that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.